Hello, I'm Chong Min Chen. For some people, language comes naturally. I'm not one of these people. So I need algorithms and cheats to make my sentences flow better, to make the whole text flow better. One of these cheats are sentence starters. We will go over seven to eight different ways to start sentences. This will allow you to have less monotone texts and keep your readers engaged. The first way to start a sentence is with the subject. An example is the archer hit the target, or it was great, or a car drove by the house. If you just use these kinds of sentences, it will get monotonous fast. So we need ways to mix it up. The second way to start a sentence is with an information where or when it happens. An example is in front of the bakery, delicious smells drifted to Andy's nose. Or in the morning she went to buy bread. After the dinner, they conveyed to the smoking room. The third way is an ink phrase. This is a way to use a verb to start a sentence. Singing his favorite song, he walked to the woods, is an example for that. The fourth sentence starter is a verb as well, or can be a verb. The example is cranked up to the max, the stereo system pumped the music into the brains of the audience. These phrases are good for conveying feelings like worried, he looked around, excited, he jumped up. Lee words. Another word for the fifth sentence starter is fronted adverbials. <laughs> Let's call them Lee words. Slowly she pushed open the door. Immediately he turned around. The sixth way are connector words. Those are also called conjunctions and the part of the sentence is called subordinating clause. An example is because the temperature had fallen below zero degrees, driving was dangerous. Another example for the connector word are but, through, also, albeit, instead of. Seven metaphors. Example, as crazy as a hatter, Ellie hopped around the square. The last way to mix up sentence isn't a sentence starter but you can sprinkle in questions or prompts into your text. Instead of saying, we will go to a cafe, you can say, let's go to a cafe. Or you can use questions like, do they really think this color is right for the occasion? <laughs> sorry for the examples. I mean, sorry for all the examples. Yeah, these were the seven and a half ways to start your sentences. I hope this video helps you. I will show you what I use as a cheat sheet. The article is called Easy Words to Use as Sentence Starters to Write Better Essays. I leave the link in the description below and I really like how they have sorted the word lists. Here is the transition word list, words to show contrast, words to add to an idea, words that show cause, words that add emphasis. Then we have citing examples, order events or sequence time, use interesting words when summarizing. I like about this article that it has many examples in it, so if I have too much conform sentences, I go to this webpage and let me inspire by it. <laughs>
I made this video because I'm currently copying classics and learn from it. I analyzed the starters of an actual best-selling book and I noticed that it, it's maybe hard for people who never heard about the different ways to start sentences to follow what I'm doing. So I thought, yeah, I make this short video about the different ways to start sentences as a basis for analyzing the sentence structure of different classical works. I'm especially interested how they mix it up, to what percentage they use what sentence starter. If you want to follow my new series, it's called Copycat, Copying classics and learning from it and you can find the playlist right here or of course on my channel. Thank you, bye bye!